So we got some more cool features for the TrueFlow app. This is version 1.2 of that release. Stay with me because I'm going to take you through them one by one. Okay, let's open the TrueFlow app. Now at the bottom right, you'll see a button that says settings. Click that button and you have demo mode under the help screen. There's a toggle to the right, toggle it on. Okay, now what that's going to do is in devices on, in the bottom next to settings, click that button. You'll see you have two devices, both in demo mode. Click the pus and that's going to activate these false devices inside the app so you can have a workflow. Now. I'm gonna run through a quick workflow so you can see what I mean. Let's select system airflow, air handler, upflow, cooling capacity of a two ton, air filter location, filter grill, and let's leave it at 400 CFM per ton and click next. Now test instructions, let's click continue. All right, here we are. We've got a false gauge reading pressure in the supply plenum. Now let's take measurement. And let's click continue, right? It's gonna say install the TrueFlow grid in place of the filter. Let's click take measurement. Remember, these components are not real. This is just a demo set of hardware. And so you can see the workflows, you know, get you comfortable with the program. If you're doing a training, right? Let's click continue, save it. And there's your results from the fake set of hardware. We can even generate a report if we click continue, create report at the bottom, and we can even get a false report. That is demo mode. Now, here's what I would do. When I'm done with demo mode, under devices, you can disconnect if you want, but make sure you go to settings at the bottom and you go to demo mode and you turn it off. That way when you're using it in the field, you're not stuck in demo mode. Here we are under system details. You'll notice we updated our cooling climate selection process. We now offer a climate slider. You can take that button, slide it to the left, slide it to the right. It defaults at 400 CFM per ton, but if you move it to the left or the right, it will update the dials at the end of the workflow for your selection for your target airflow. You can see on the screen that we've got a notification for a high flow limit. So we will not be able to capture this measurement because we exceed the plates available measurement capability of 2500 CFM. Now if you get below 300 CFM you will get the same warning. This is the high flow and low flow limit notification. Under system details, we are going to change air filter location to multiple filter grills, the last selection. Okay, now when we click next and we click continue, you'll notice our graphic shows a double return situation. Notice that A is larger than B. So if we take measurement, you will see that we're capturing the normal system operating pressure with the filters in place, just like it is. Click continue. Then it tells us to block off the airstream from the return of filter B by any means necessary. Click continue, then filter surface area A where the filter is, we will remove that filter and install the digital TrueFlow grid and then we will take a measurement. That is how we will perform the double return workflow. If one of your devices is out of range, you will get this notification. It will then let you capture the measurement separately, just like you'll see shortly. So click yes if you wanna take measurements separately or no if you wanna to try to get in range of both devices. You click yes, you will then see the next screen, which is the TrueFlow grid. You get in range of the grid, you pull a measurement. Once you get done with that, then you get in range of the DG8 or the DG1000 gauge, and then you collect a measurement from that gauge. Once you are done with these two steps, you can then continue on the workflow as normal. 